Hey guys, it's Random Fix here, and today we're going to be showing you how to get your catalyst monitor ready when all other monitors are ready and you've driven the vehicle three, four hundred miles and still not things happening with it. And this technique works really well on older vehicles with over a hundred thousand miles. This might really be the technique you're looking for to get that monitor ready. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. The most important thing as you're doing this procedure, you want to make sure that your A, your vehicle is in a well ventilated area and B, that the coolant is in the right level on your car. C, you have the right amount of oil. And if your vehicle is prone to overheating, you want to put an auxiliary fan uh, in front of the radiator to really keep the vehicle cool we don't want to damage the vehicle so that's something you, you want to pay attention to so let me show you how to do that now all right guys so here's going to be my vehicle hooked up to a little obd2 reader and as we can see the top one right here the catalyst monitor is not ready and if you have a vehicle that this has not been able to get ready and you've driven it and especially if it's an older vehicle this really might help you out what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and start your vehicle and with your vehicle started keep an eye on your temperature gauge what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and let the vehicle warm up for a few minutes so the is so right now it's about 6 p.m. and I'm gonna go ahead and let this car idle for uh, to seven minutes Hey right, guys, so we're at seven minutes later. The car's warmed up a little bit, and I got my hood prop here on the gas pedal. And and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and hold the gas for three minutes. Keep an eye on your temperature gauge, and I'm slowly gonna move my seat up and bring my RPM up on my vehicle. And I'm going to hold it at 3,000 RPM for a total of three minutes. And this doesn't always work, but I've seen a lot of older vehicles that the emissions monitor is not getting ready for the catalyst. This definitely does do the trick, so let's get this started. Three minutes at 3,000 RPM. You're in a well-vented area, so don't take any chances with your health or be inside of a garage. All right, guys, our time is up. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the engine speed. So that was three minutes at 3,000 RPM. So now you want you want to do is you want to go ahead and check out your uh, catalyst monitor. It really does help if you have the oxygen sensor ready. So if you're encountering a problem on an older vehicle where your catalyst monitor is not getting ready, I would definitely give this a try. If you guys are still confused by the whole emissions process, check out my complete smogs playlist. And uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. And if you guys haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button right here and check out that notification bell. So anytime I post videos that are aimed to save you time and money that you guys will get notified. And best of luck with everything. Thanks. Hit the subscribe button and I really appreciate your continued support.